Hi folks, it's Alexi Bellion here. I'm just going to go through a process of um, possibly taking an image from Photoshop and uh, placing it in um, Maya. Okay, so right now this is not my full turnaround, that's another sheet somewhere, but it's an example. So for the sake of example, we're going to play with this. This is a chibi character of uh, Harry Potter, okay, prior uh, to a match, a Quidditch match. So I'm going to get the marquee tool and just roughly right here, I'm on the proper layer, as you can see. And I'm going to just go Control c or Command-C. And uh, Photoshop will copy this, Command New, and watch what Photoshop says. This says basically 628 by 955. 955 is the dimension of what I just selected. Okay, it doesn't have to be 144. And let's just bring this down to 72. Screen is fine. Okay, you don't have to change it, but it's fine. That's the size of this marquee right now. Okay, so right now, Command V. Oops, that was cancel that. Command V, not C paste and there's my character okay and then file save uh, command shift s control shift s for you guys out there and I'm gonna call this GB Harry and then start okay so there's my uh, I'll have it on my desktop for now and now it's saved as a hopefully I, again let me double check something and it should be not as Photoshop it should be as JPEG okay so we'll do that again and it'll be JPEG over here so that's the key alright so that maximum resolution is fine 400 kilobytes fantastic so I'm gonna go into Maya um, and I'm just gonna make a control A here guys you can see the attribute editor and the channel editor okay I'm gonna stay in the uh, channel here okay so uh, let's see let's make a floor here ground plane F for frame uh, first thing first don't need these segments or subdivisions they say um, I'm gonna just make this 6 by 9 roughly to the pixels uh, 9 okay and enter and let's see it's just uh, I'm using my uh, <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's go, wrong key, option, yes, of course, here it is. All right, there's my um, surface that I want to apply the texture on. However, at this point, it's not facing the right direction. I want it to be in the front view, as you can see here. Rotate X, change that to 90, boom. And maybe I'll, I'll bring this up, press W right now. Click out, select it, mm, W, and bring it in a ground plane. Uh, there is no ground plane at this point, you know what I mean. Uh, and I'm just gonna shoot this somewhat back okay ideally what you do is have a front view here and a side view somewhere down here okay not in the center so let's apply a surface on this and in this situation what I want to do is actually apply an image not a surface so right click aside new material and we'll go to Lambert no shading no reflection I mean there it is Lambert and I'm gonna call this Harry Harry 01, whatever, just making it up. Cool, we named it. Now, instead of color, we're going to look for a file. And we're going to go to the desktop using the folder here. Review again from yesterday's lesson and start right here. This is the guy. Now, you'll notice uh, I'm not seeing anything. Press 6, and there it is. Now, my character right now is off the page. There are many ways to fix this. But what I want to do, because we're going to get into unwrapping later, I'm going to apply the planner mapping right here, this little T, the first one. And I'm going to go to Edit UV, UV Texture Editor. Okay, a couple things. So Option, Zoom Out, there it is. And you can see the little white line here. And again, it's not easy to see. And there's my surface. You can see it's off. Okay, a couple things I'll do. I'll slide this over and make that a little smaller. Let's bring this over, and what I'm going to do is uh, drag across here and zoom in somewhat. Okay, so you can see right now. Now, if I right-click normally, this is the first thing I say to you guys. Go in here, be in UV mode. If I simply just right-click, like I said, UV, select it, and move, press, pressing W, you can see I've oriented. Now, what I want to do is get these two UV verts and slide that over. One, I want to take these two and slide it to the left. And there it is. That's the full resolution there. Proportionally, it's not perfect, but however, it's good enough. If I look at this now, I'm thinking the head is a little too big, but however, it fits the chibi um, characteristics, right? So we're done here. This is finished, okay? Right-click, object mode, say bye-bye to this, close it. So at this point, there's my, um, as you say, my um, hairy image. 
Harry Potter, not Harry. You know what I mean. Okay, so a uh, couple, th one more thing I'll add to this tutorial. Hopefully, it is recording. I'm just going to take a. Usually, we start with a sphere, but I'm going to start with a cube, and I'll tell you why. Okay, right off the bat, and I'm going to bring in this here, and going to be in the front view. You can see that this cube is way off, right? So we'll press R for scale, and we scale out from the center. Okay. So we can see right now, uh, we don't know exactly what's happening here. So what I'll do right now is right click or space bar, sorry, and then go to front view. Okay. And I'll just pan down here a touch and you'll notice that, you know, proportionally, you know, I'm just in W and you're looking at this going, Hey, Mr. Ballion, I can't see a thing. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you something that we can do in a second and W again and here it is. This is roughly the proportion of this uh, of the head. A couple things. When we get this far, seriously, you guys should be saving every 10 minutes. We know that, right? So let's go GB model. I'm just going to do this quickly so you guys remember to do it. Model, whatever, Harry, you know what I mean. Underscore 01, start, whatever. You know, okay, so there's the piece. Now, however, you're noticing that you can't see behind it, right? Okay, no problem. So if we go to Attribute Editor, check this out, Transparency, right? Watch this, a little slide, and I can see. That's pretty awesome, right? Okay, so here's where we end this uh, tutorial. I'm going to um, smooth this out, this model here. Again, I'm in Object Mode, nothing else. I'm going to go to Mesh, I believe, and thank you for Autodesk to move things around. Smooth shape right here, and we're going to hit on the box right there, the option box. And if I leave it at 1, it's kind of cool, but I am going to—I know what the result is, so I'm going to punch it to 2, and I'm going to apply it. Look how nice that is. That is fantastic. It's um, To me, instead of having a sphere, um, we have perfect quads, okay? So now at this point, you can scale it again. All right. That's fantastic. So that's pretty cool, right? I, I think the head's too big for the body, but we're going to 3D print this later. The W, we're good. So now I'm just going to space bar, go into perspective mode just to show you what we're doing here. And there's your body. I mean, there's your head. Okay, the head of your character. Okay, pardon me. Excuse me. Whew. Right. Okay. So here it is. Um, we're back in business. And what I'll do right now, and I'm just going to come down and um, change the transparency for a second so you can see. I'm going to select the... Okay. I'm just going to come over here. And I'm going to go into shading for this exercise. Stay shading. Wireframe unshaded so you know what's going on. Okay. And I'm going to spin around here a bit and zoom in a touch and spin around. So I'm going to come down here right at the bottom, face one, hold shift, two, three, four, and what I'm going to do is extrude out. Okay, and there's your extrude button there, and always on the blue. Okay, and then R. Uh, what am I doing? Why R? Nope. <laughs> w is fine. And then this is what it's going to be. Clearly the neck is too thick right now, so don't worry about it. So we're going to bring this down. W pop it up just a touch and then extrude again by pressing G or go up here and you can see always extrude on the blue and then R again and then I'm going to spin around here always scale from the center and then W to move it just a touch so we have two pieces done okay this is cool I think this is good I and mean, I'm going to leave this piece alone and I'm going to make a separate body piece and go from there okay um, I think that's good I don't think I want to go further for this tutorial Okay, I think this will work nicely for us. Again, as always at this point, Command Shift S, <coughs> Control Shift S for you over there. And number two, every 10 minutes we got to save under a new number. Okay, um, I think this is cool. Uh, we don't have to make this symmetrical because this body is not symmetrical. He is holding something. And as we know for the 3D printer, we want to extrude up. Uh, for the printer. Anyway, uh, talk more. I think this is enough for now, for today. Uh, Bellion out, okay? Take care.